previously on. We can't name one player that Bronny's better than. Zero points! Zero! Ugh. Am I reading this correctly? Nada! Nothing! Even he looked shocked at the zil she produced. <laughs> Yo, gorsh. Wait a minute, hold on. With the second pick in the 2024 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Alex Saar from Toulouse, France. Napoleon is rolling in his grave. Zero points as a center? And he's the second overall pick? Stop shooting threes! Get in the paint. There you go. What, look. Mid shots from mid range. <laughs> Flightless floaters. There was that. What kind of low IQ demon possessed you to think that it was okay to run into four defenders? Was this an attempt at a Euro step? If so, the Euro bounced. This is neighborhood 2K activities. This is exactly how they play. Another low percentage shot, another bad decision. Is there any shot he takes that isn't contested? And then this, why did you pass it? Why? Smack that all on the floor. Smack that till you get so. You know what? I'm about to say it. He's playing for the other team. This man very clearly wanted the Trailblazers to draft him instead of the Wizards. Now it's time to go back to not making three-pointers. And look at this, my favorite struggle ball. <laughs> Nope. No. You mean to tell me this guy went to the free throw line and couldn't get one, but has the gall to take three pointers? Let me stop right now to make known just a few of my commandments of hatred. Any one of these will send me spiraling off a mental cliff. Thou shall not flop. That's at the top of the list as it pertains to basketball. That is the single greatest plague that's ever befell this game. Number two, thou shall not miss all your free throws. You get sent to the line and you miss both of them. What the fuck are you doing? You can't make one. Professional basketball players can't make one free throw. And three, Taylor Swift has nothing to do with basketball. I just can't stand Taylor Swift. Cardio of this magnitude is seldom seen in the suburbs. This shot was the only time the ball touched the net after leaving this man's hands and it still didn't go in. This is only summer league. It's not that big a deal. You are playing against people who are undrafted, fighting for their professional lives, trying to get a roster spot. In terms of overall talent in the league, this is as low as you can possibly go outside of just full time G League experience. And if you can't score in these conditions, what hope do I have in you doing so on a far more professional and competitive level? An NBA player playing 30 minutes having zero points is rare. Rarer than rare. That's a legendary Pokemon. This was a play-in Quartz Thompson performance. Old Testament having named Tobias Activities. Oh wait, that man is on my team now. Ugh. Sar is averaging around six and a half points, so... Two more points than Bronny, but he's shooting 19% from the field. Trash. At least now we can say somebody in Summer League has played a worse game than Bronny has. And technically, Bronny is a bit more efficient than this man. Bronny is shooting around 21 to 22% from the field. This dude is shooting 19.5 or so from the field. It's a race to the bottom. And might I reiterate, this man is a center, a seven foot tall construction worker. He's got cement on his hands and feet and he was drafted number two overall. The only difference here is he doesn't have a superstar hall of fame dad saying he's better than professional players. The only argument I've seen made it has some modicum or iota of sense typed in comments that I've seen. 
Bronny is a number 55th pick that went in the second round. What do you even expect? Really? What even is this video or argument? All this hype and scrutiny to someone who's 19. As if every other player isn't getting scrutiny or criticism as well and has been for all time. But just because it's Bronny now, we can't do that or shouldn't do that. And even for a 55th pick in the second round, he is playing abnormally bad. And if you want to get angry at someone, get angry at ESPN for making a highlight reel of Bronny rebounds and assists and two points here and there every other game, boosting him up to something that he has no business being. And get angry at LeBron for religiously hyping him up for years before he even got here. I made the argument in a previous video, previous video as seen on TV. If Bronny was good enough to get drafted in the first round, that would be far worse than what we currently have here because that would be the literal definition of rigging by the Lakers, Clutch Sports, and LeBron to secure the rights of a player they had no business in getting since they fell number 17. So 16 other organizations would get told by Rich Paul, which they said on ESPN multiple times live, do not draft him or else. To be honest, it's still rigging either way. It's just since it's a second round pick, by circumstance, it's not given the same energy or consequence. And at the end of the day, everybody sees this for what it actually is. High fructose corn syrup levels of nepotism fueling the placement of a player in a league for which he is not ready and quite frankly should have taken another year to fully develop before even considering entering said league. I don't want to hear these charges, people talking about nepotism. No, he, he, the he, NBA he, yeah. is full of full nepotism. Of full of it. The ownership full level, it. front offices, Absolutely. coaching. Yep. I don't want to hear it all of a sudden because of Bronny James's father plays for the Lakers. Right. It is rampant in this league. Hey. No! This is like giving the job of an aerospace engineer of structural mechanics at NASA to a Call of Duty streamer. This is not normal nepotism. This is judicial levels of nepotism. Both Alexander Saar and Bronny look absolutely horrendous. The only thing they have in common with one another are bricks, but different circumstances. I of course want both of them to succeed. I don't want any player to fail except this one and this one and him, especially him. These two players have their work cut out for them. This is a small sample size. I'm not saying either of these two players can't improve. There will always be room to improve and the ceiling can be higher than what we expected. But how high is the ceiling? Was there ever a ceiling in the first place? Time will grant us the answer, but my God, I, I don't know how you don't accidentally score. And the only reason he isn't getting more scrutiny is because he was drafted by the Wizards who don't have an ounce of magic to their names. But I digress. Nobody is safe from getting a talking to on this channel. Everybody can have their time in court and their day on the hot seat. I am of no exception. Bro thought he was going to get him a response. <laughs>